I'm a heart failure cardiologist, and I treat patients who have heart muscle disease or cardiomyopathy. Patients with cardiomyopathy can have weakening of the heart for various reasons. When the heart becomes too weak to supply blood to the body or fails to move blood forward, they can develop congestive heart failure. And there are a variety of treatments for congestive heart failure. We try to treat most people with medications, and sometimes they require things like defibrillators or pacemakers to improve their symptoms and live longer. Sometimes their hearts get better and stronger just on these therapies, and they go on as they are. However, some patients, they progress, their symptoms worsen, their quality of lives decline, and we need to start considering advanced therapies. If we're focusing on mechanical circulatory support, there are devices that are approved and accepted, such as LVADs or artificial hearts, that are available implantable devices that patients receive and go home with. The reason we implant these devices are for really two reasons. The first is to save a dying patient who's awaiting heart transplantation or to bridge them to heart transplant. We try to avoid the device if we can, help the patient live to heart transplantation to avoid multiple surgeries. The second group of patients that receive mechanical heart devices, they don't have any options for heart transplantation and this is going to be the treatment that they have. All of these devices have a common theme and their intention is to make people with weak hearts feel better, have more energy, and hopefully live longer. The most common mechanical circulatory support device is an LVAD or a left ventricular assist device. It used to be a large mechanical, maniacal device that was really only used in, in rare occasions. More recently, because of advancements in device design and technology and portability, the devices are now used more frequently for people at end-stage heart failure. Here at VCU, we implant a variety of LVADs, and we're also one of the leading implanting centers for the total artificial heart. I think as far as selecting devices or types of therapies, it's a collaborative effort between the patients, the physicians, and their surgeons, along with our extensive support system of social workers, psychologists, and nurse coordinators to help decide what's gonna work for the patient and what will help them succeed.